Hi, this is Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. Today we are going to go over a new kind of HTV project. First things first, I've got my heat press on. It's set on 320 medium pressure. This is just some fabric I bought at Hobby Lobby. I love, love, love this print. And this is what they call heat bond. This is heat bond ultra. You buy it at Hobby Lobby. It's like 10 bucks for a yard of it. And what it will do is it will turn your fabric into pretty much an HTV. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this on the heat press. And then we're going to heat it on here for about 10 seconds. And then once it's on, you take and remove the paper backing, and then you put it on your cut mat to, see now how this is bonded? All you do is grab this little paper corner, so you can see where it's at on the fabric, how it's nice and shiny. So, what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and pre-cut my design, which we are going to get more into doing tutorials over Cricut and Silhouette and how to send things to cut. I'm just trying to find the right software to do it. So, I left this stuck to my mat because there's nothing to hold it into place once I weed it. So, as you can see, you weed it just like you would your vinyl. Excuse my mat, it is absolutely disgusting. I actually use mine all the time, so. Okay. And it weeds really easily. And it actually cuts smooth. Whenever you send this to cut on your, uh, either on your Cricut or Silhouette or even your Scan and Cut, on the Cricut there is a fab bonded fabric spot on the knob to turn it to and then on silhouette you can choose bonded fabric as well for the silhouette cameo 3. I don't remember what the blade depth has to be set to but at least that kind of gives you some ideas. So the only thing you have to be careful of is as you can see the little extra stringies but if you look at it closely there's not a whole lot of extra pieces like it cuts with that heat bond on the back of it and you put the heat bond as you can see before you send it to cut so and we can save that because we can reuse the extra pieces for our next fabric project there we go and let's remove the center of our O. Now, you can take and stick it on your shirt just like this, or one of the things I like to do is this is my glitter HTV. I cut the rest of my design out of it and I make it where it has an outline. And if you're interested in this file, it is available on our website. It should be at this point, and if it's not, it will be soon. So, we'll go ahead and get this weeded. Again, my handy dandy little pick. Love this thing. Because what we're going to do is I'm going to put the fabric on at the same time as I put my HTV. I think that it works a little bit better, especially trying to sit there and match up all those letters. And I want it as an outline and not just... stuck on the shirt. Um, there we go. Just a couple of more little pieces. My tummy's grumbling at this point. I'm getting hungry. Need to figure out what we're doing for dinner. I'm sure my husband's waiting on me to call him and tell him either to start something or tell him I'm going to go and buy something. So, as you can see, it overlaps 
on the fabric so that way we're going to take and just work because my mat looks disgusting but it's actually super duper sticky because I take leftover screen from well, actually this is what we're going to do since it's wanting to come with it we're just going to take and match our letters up it won't take any time at all Okay. So, grab the R. And if there's any projects that y'all are interested in seeing me make so you can learn how to do it, shoot me a message, leave a comment, and we will definitely try to get around to doing all those. Um, there are lots of projects in the works for summer and spring, especially since the weather is so pretty. I don't know about where y'all are at. We're in Southeast Texas, so it's already 80 degrees. And it's been beautiful and sunshiny the past couple of days, which is funny because last week it was freezing cold. We were dealing with 50 degree weather, which for us is cold. Now I know a lot of places it's not like that, but for us, I don't like the cold, that's why I live in Texas. Keep me in the south where we have pretty weather. But as you can see, I mean this doesn't really take a whole lot of time. And the shirt we're putting it on, I found at Walmart the other day. I went grocery shopping. I go to Walmart or HEB. And they always tend to have more of the snack crud that my kids like for their lunches. Because my kids don't like school food, so they bring every day there we go because i think it's kind of ridiculous also with school lunches that you get limited to you know one packet of ketchup because of calories because last time i tried it school lunches were like eating cardboard and it's not the lunch lady's fault okay Got the eye in. There we go. And if you haven't noticed, I tend to lean towards southern style things because we are in the south. These are phrases that I grew up here in, from my grandmother and all that fun kind of stuff. There we go. The fabric does not like to stick as well as vinyl. So this is a little bit more tedious than when you're doing your printed vinyl, but it's going to look super cute once it's done. And I don't know if anybody else does that, but like when my mat gets unsticky instead of going out and buying a new mat, 
I use screen print adhesive, but you can use, they have different types of spray adhesives like at Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. I to spray on there and make re-sticky. I've also heard that if you take and wash it with Awesome and let it air dry, which is something that comes from the dollar store, that that works as well. So, go ahead and put our little dot in there. There we go. So, we're gonna go ahead and load our shirt. As I said, this is a no boundaries shirt from Walmart. It's like $2.80, or no, $4.94. Anyways, super cheap, super soft. I love, love, love how soft these are. And they're super thin too, so if you're not comfortable with skin showing, you can take and throw on a tank underneath. So, just like I load every shirt, I'm going ahead and pulling it on and putting the transfer guide, my handy dandy t-shirt guide, up at the top, lining it up with the corners. So, we're gonna take our design, yep, fold it in half, backwards always backwards so you don't stick your letters to themselves let me stick this back on real quick i dropped the dot to the question mark let's see if i can find that little sucker <laughs> Where did it go? I do not know. But I have a little piece of the heart that will fit in there from the last project I did. Okay. So let's go ahead and line this up. Got it centered. Now let's go ahead and refix our letters. That's the only thing about this that I don't like because I do like the ability to choose different patterns, maybe stuff that I can't print myself, which I mean, I can print pretty much anything. It's just why well, spend the time to design it when I can buy it already done. Okay. Jiminy Cricket. It's like I get one part done and it's all just wanting to move. Make sure it's flipped right.
Okay. And this does wash really well. That we have definitely tested. Because oh, I was worried because if you feel this heat bond, it feels super duper thick. And as I said, this is the ultra hold because I didn't want it coming off in the wash. I have explained before how we are at our house for washing clothes. Nothing gets treated special even though it probably should. Should have just brought it all over here and did it all at once anyway. That's going to drive me nuts about the dot and then I'll probably find it as soon as I finish. Which actually what I'm going to do. Show you a handy dandy little way to do it. Where are my scissors? Right here. This has already got the heat bond attached to it. We're just going to cut a little square to fit behind that dot. So then it matches in print. There we go. Now, again, we're going to take and use our Teflon sheet. Teflon sheet's always important. It protects both your heat press and your shirt or whatever you're working on. Gonna hold it down for 15 seconds. We'll remove the plastic and then we will reheat and we will have a done shirt. As I said, it's not anything super hard. It doesn't take too long. The biggest part of it was lining up the letters, which if you're using a big solid design like doing a heart or a bunny or whatever, you can lay it on there without lining it up. I just wanted letters. So, go ahead and reheat. Get my hair off there. And we'll do it for another 15 seconds and then it is done. So remember, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Remember, you can like and share this video. Um, remember also that for our April Scrap Box, box drawing, if you are subscribed on YouTube, you're automatically entered. If you go onto Facebook and share our post and like our page, that's another entry. And any purchases made online between now and April the 4th or in store give you extra entries into the scrap box drawing. So as you can see, it looks super duper cute. This is a glitter fabric. I didn't know until I went and bought it that they had such a thing, which as you know, I love my glitter. So like, share, subscribe, and y'all have a great day.